Hello out there, this is DZ, your overlord, Deseran, and welcome back to Hellblade, Senua's Sacrifice. <laughs> uh, now we're back in, once more. Uh, I think I already did that, yes I did. Back in once more. And we're trying to complete the trials to gain a new blade, a new sword. We've beaten two so far out of I'm not sure how many. I want to tell you a story about a god of the Northmen called Baldur, the second son of Odin. He was beautiful, good, and wise. He was fair of feature, he spoke fair words, he gave fair judgments. Light shone from him. Mm. Only good things were told of him. Yet he was the first of the gods to die. Mm. Oh, where are we now? Well, look at all this. Huh. Well now. In a minute. Looking everywhere for oh. You've come this far. But the bridge is broken. There's no way you can fix it. What do you do now, Sam? I'll tell you what I do. Dag nab it. Is there anything back over here? Let's cross it. No. Damn it. Okay. I'm gonna watch for runes, because I wanna again I wanna hear the full stories. I wanna hear everything he has to say. All the tales he has to tell. No? Okay. Oh. Here we go. The Northmen tell this story about the death of Baldur. It begins with dark dreams. Night after night, Baldur dreams of his own death, and the gods fear for his life. So Baldur's mother makes everything in the world. Fire, water, iron, stone, earth. Wood, beasts, birds, serpents, poison, sickness. Swear an oath not to harm her son. Huh. They each make their vow. Neither weapons nor wood will injure him, Baldur's mother boasts. Only Loki, father of Hela, the mistress of death, is not amused. Hmm. Okay.
Can I open here? I see where this is going. So I need to use the other mask. I wonder go through the gate. Go through it. It's dangerous. Follow it. What's behind the gate? Where will it take you? It's not safe. I wonder. Oh, that's gone. It's not even here anymore. Well then. Isn't that interesting? here it seems unless no okay so there's no point of me going over there themselves by throwing spears and stones at Baldur, striking at him with sword and axe. But he comes to no harm, whatever they do. The gods never cease to wonder at this great marvel. But Loki shapes himself into a woman and asks Baldur's mother, is it really true that all things promise to keep him safe? I did not ask the mistletoe, Baldur's mother confesses. I thought it was too young. Oh dear. He was the only one she could trust. Could she trust him? You can't go up you there. You can't go up there. Not in this world. Mm. You can't he was the only one she could trust. Could she trust him? Oh. Shh. 
Shut up. Ha! Whoa. Hoth says, I cannot see where Baldur stands, and even if I could see him, I have no weapon. Loki replies, here is a wand, I will tell you where he stands. And Hoth throws the mistletoe at Baldur. It pierces through him, and to everyone's horror, Baldur is killed. And for this, Hoth is slain. Well, shit. Huh. It's all your fault. It's all your fault. You're cursed. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, I think I get it. There's one of two ways to do this. Either I do this... Everything has broken in the end. You've killed him with your love because he believed in you. Shh. Okay. Plan B. What? Oh. Man, these voices are... Mm. Oh, no, there we go, yeah. Because now I can travel through the middle. I think that's what I need to do, but I'm not sure. Oh. I can't open it from this side. Oop, whoops. Okay. Huh. Okay, now I'm not sure. So, okay, wait a minute. So, hmm. So opening the door doesn't, huh. Let me try something different. Oop. Whoop. Okay. Maybe if I use the mask over here again. Oh, 
No. D okay, do it. Thank you. The reason she keeps fighting. Okay, so can I not open this? No, I can't. Okay. Do you remember the way he stroked your hair? Do you remember the way he felt? Can I get up there? And if I can, is there a mask up there? No. Huh. Can't. What does it feel like to be in love? No, it doesn't work. What about over here? Can I open this door? Ah, here we go. Bingo. Secret must be over here. Aha. Bada bing. on this side now. Maybe opening those doors has changed something. Eh. All right, it's broken there. Okay. Let's see if it had any effect over here. possible it didn't do a dang thing, but... So has this changed? No. Dagnabbit. This hasn't changed. found my way in, but... You have no chance for love now. Nobody will love you again. Ever. Ever again. You there has to be... Something I can do. You had that loved you. You squashed it, strangled it, flattened it. The curse cannot be undone. You are guilty. me feel like dealing with a bunch of you. Oh. The Northmen tell how the gods mourned Baldur. His body was to be burnt on his ship, but they could not manage to push it into the sea and sent for a giantess to do it. She comes riding a wolf and has vipers for her reins. She pushes Baldur's ship into the sea with such force that the ground shakes. Years had passed since she left her father. What? She trained hard alongside. 
alongside her friend, Dillian. She saw things no one else could. Patterns, shapes, movement. An intuition that made her an exceptional warrior. Friendship turned to love. But the shadow of darkness never let her go. And she was caught between two worlds. That of Zinbel and her past. And Dillian. Her future. Two realities tearing at her soul. Okay, continue please. The Northmen tell how the gods mourned Baldur. His body was to be burnt on his ship, but they could not manage to push it into the sea and sent for a giantess to do it. She comes riding a wolf and has vipers for her reins. She pushes Baldur's ship into the sea with such force that the ground shakes and the rollers burst into flames. When Baldur's wife sees his body carried onto the ship, her heart bursts with grief and she dies. She's put next to her husband, and the pyre is lit, sending the dead to hell. But even so, the gods cannot accept his death. Oh. Oh, oh, I see it. Wait. Oh, almost. Uh, I need the right angle. Bingo. heard a bit. Oh, Jesus. Wait, what was that? something he cared in a way that nobody else did is 
Is there a face nearby? Mm, maybe not. He didn't believe that she was cursed. He saved you and everyone else. Oh. Overcome with grief, the gods send Hermod to ride to Hell and ask Hela to let Baldur return home. All the gods are weeping, he says. Are they? asks Hela. We shall see if he is truly missed. If everything in the world will weep for him, he shall go back to the gods. But if even one thing refuses, Baldur stays with me. The gods send messengers everywhere. Weep for Baldur, weep him out of hell. And everything wept. Men, beasts, earth, stone, trees, metal, everything. Except for a giantess they find in a cave. Baldur was never my friend, she says. Let hell keep what she has. The Northmen say that the giantess must have been Loki in disguise. Hmm. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. I need to get to the other side. Okay. Hit. Boom. What the hell? Wait a minute. What? Hold on. I've been here. Oh, that's... Okay, that's open now. Okay, okay, okay. I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha. you. You couldn't see the darkness within you. Whoa! What was that? I feel like there's something I should be seeing here. Okay. Just gonna keep going. Aha! Uh -huh. Hello. The Northmen tell how the gods punished Loki for Baldur's death. They captured him and took him to a cave. They fetched his two sons and turned one into a wolf, and he ripped his brother apart. The gods used Loki's own son's entrails to tie him down and turned these bonds to iron and dangled a poisonous serpent over his face so that its venom would drip onto him. Each time the venom drips onto Loki's face, he writhes in agony. The Northmen say that is the cause of earthquakes. A reminder, perhaps, that if even gods must accept death, then so must we. Hmm. Do you remember how he made you feel? What if this is pointless? If it's pointless, it's pointless. You could make this work. You keep seeing runes. You see runes everywhere. Everywhere. What if they're not real? What if they don't actually make sense? If they're true. The gods were lying. If you think it makes sense, but really the gods are playing with you. It makes sense in your mind. Worlds. Playing with her or not. I don't care.
Oh, crap. Okay, not Dillion! quicker. You need to go over. Okay, go. I very, very careful. Dillion never much cared for the underworld. And looked dimly upon the druids, like her father, Zinbao. I guess he took after his father. A chieftain who believed nothing he couldn't see. And he happened to be blind. She felt safe in Dillion's arms. Had to see the world through his eyes. Slowly. Oh, no, 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 no. It's fine. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. no. No, 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 no. We're good. We're good. We are fine. We're fine. Achieve and unlock different perspectives. Whoa. Your father cannot understand your darkness. He cannot see through your eyes. No one can. My own father was born blind. Doesn't have the faintest idea of what the night looks like. The word dark to him means as little as the word light. So someone is afraid of the dark. Should we fix them by taking away their sight? But you give up the beautiful world. You, <coughs> only you can see just to be rid of your nightmares. Or is this the price you pay for the gift you have? The gift that makes you so special in my head. Just another part of the person I know. Hmm. I left for the wilds to protect you from my darkness. Because I love you. But it made it worse. I'm so sorry. Hmm. Killing you would be too easy. They're taking your memories to torture you. One memory Every time you remember, it disappears. They're going to take everything. They're going to take everything you have. The memories of ghosts. Shut up. Are you done? Alright then. So if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, a comment, subscribe if you want to see more, and share it with anyone else you think might enjoy it. If you want to suggest a game, leave it in the comments below, and check out links in the description for, sen for <clears throat> Hellblade Senua's Sacrifice on Steam. And well, in the next part, we'll continue on with our trials to try and get ourselves a new blade and maybe come to terms with our past. Until then, though, this is DZ, your overlord, Deseran. You all have a great day, and I'll see ya. <laughs> <laughs>